Hey you guys, it's Coach Elmi again, and here I am with part three of my series on simple steps that you can take to get fit. So in part three, we're gonna talk about, or I'm gonna tell you some tips about um, how to stop drinking empty calories. And I'm gonna, I have some notes written down here, so I wanna make sure and go over some things. So um, the biggest issue that I see with people is that they don't realize that small things over time make a huge difference. And so part of that is actually drinking empty calories, eating empty calories, and and what I mean by that, that is all the junk food that we consume day in and day out. So snacks here and there even um, mount up to um, things over time. So um, I'm talking about like sweet tea, sodas, candy, um, diet sodas even, donuts, fries, chips. The list could go on and on and we could talk about it all day long and why empty calories are so bad for you. They offer no nutritional value. Um, is the main reason so they're doing nothing for your body they might taste really good and Nicole which I see is on here talked about how uh, the other day was telling me or commented about um, how you have to kind of change your mindset to realize that food is fuel even though it might taste great it's not good for you and it's not going to do you any good when it doesn't have any nutritional value at all so full disclosure I'm not perfect I want every, and I tell everybody that I help, I'm not perfect. I don't eat perfectly all the time. Um, I indulge in, uh, chocolate is my downfall, so I indulge in chocolate um, every now and then, especially um, the past like three weeks because it's teacher appreciation week and we have snacks in the uh, in the teacher's lounge all the time and people come around and deliver things to us and um, I'll take a snack here and there. But I have learned how, uh, to control that stuff. So it, I know that if I'm going to have a snack that I shouldn't have, then um, I probably should do an extra workout or something, which is what I did today. So anyway, um, just want you to know that I'm here to just give you some tips on how I learned over the years to make small changes. And hopefully you can take some of these uh, tips and it'll help you um, lose some weight really quick. So um, the one simple tip that I know will help you lose weight quick is to stop drinking empty calories. So by empty calories, and this goes for eating too, but we're just going to focus on drinking, on the drinking part. Drinking beverages that just aren't nutritional for you and you don't realize um, that by drinking them every single day, you're slowly adding that weight to your body. So I remember whenever I started uh, my first teen job, our office kept Diet Dr. Peppers in the fridge every single day stocked. And so really fast, up until that point, I hadn't really, I had drank Cokes, but not really a whole lot. And then when I started that, and everybody in our office would go grab a Diet Dr. Pepper at least once a day. Um, and once I started doing that, it quickly um, made me addicted to it. So every day, I would look forward to drinking that Diet Dr. Pepper. And so again, it's a mindset thing. Um, and so it's hard to come off of that. It's really hard to change your habits and to not to, to replace that drink that you've really been wanting and looking forward to with something that's healthier and probably doesn't taste as good because, I mean, water just doesn't taste as good. But when you change your mindset and you say, okay, I'm, I'm going to cut that out and I've got to start drinking more water, then that's when... Um, that's when change really starts happening. So that's when it gets exciting. Okay, so um, one thing that I do remember as well that I wanted to share with you is that when I started my journey, I had a friend that taught um, body pump. And she was the one that inspired me to get certified in body pump, invited me to my first body pump class. And I remember her telling me one time that um, she'd rather eat her calories than drink them. And so that statement really um, resonated with me because I was like, well, yeah, that's pretty smart. If I'm having to um, cut what I'm eating already, because at the point I was new um, to this whole calorie counting thing and portion control and all that stuff, um, and most people start with calorie counting, and so I thought, if I'm going to waste my calories, I'm going to waste them on food because I, I'm, I'm a foodie. I love it. Um, and so that's when I made the big change and in my mind I decided I'm not drinking any more Cokes and I'm not drinking any juices. I'm only going to be drinking water from now on and that's kind of where it started. So it's been years since I've had a whole can of uh, any type of soda. Um, I do indulge in um, sweet tea every now and then. That's my downfall. But I don't um, like to stock sodas in my house 
My kids will make sweet tea for dinner because they also love it, but um, sodas are just completely out of the question. It's very rare that we have them around. Um, and that's just to kind of protect them from getting addicted because I know what it was like. Um, so um, in the beginning, like I said, I counted calories to see results, um, which meant that I had to choose the calories that I consumed. And so I chose um, to consume them in, in food rather than drinking them. Um, and then another part of it, and, and something that I don't encourage and that you could learn later on, is that um, weight loss isn't about counting calories and it's not about the quantity of calories um, that you, if you want long-term uh, weight loss results, it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality of your calories. So eating foods that have a lot of nutritional value um, in them is always the best. All right, so um, just something, just some quick, I'm looking at my notes here so I remember what I want to tell you. All right, so um, just something, uh, some, I've got six things or six drinks that you, beverages that you need to eliminate if you want to lose weight really fast. And just by doing this one simple step, eliminating these things, you will see the weight loss um, happen. Because your body at this point, if you consume Cokes or sweet tea or whatever on a regular basis and you suddenly cut that out, your body will react to it. <clears throat> so the six things that I put down really quick off the top of my head that you need to eliminate are sodas, juices, and that's including fruit juices from the store because they end up putting a bunch of fake sugars and processed things in there that it's not unless it's like 100% fruit juice. Um, eliminate the juices, eliminate the sweet tea, Gatorades, your morning latte run. Now, I'm not saying you can't have coffee because I love coffee. And I actually have a video on how to make a healthier version of coffee, which is bulletproof coffee or coconut oil coffee. Um, I'm talking about the popular white chocolate mochas, the coconut milk macchiatos, which are my favorite, but I can't have them every day um, for special occasions only. Um, the uh, caramel macchiatos, all those things that have all those extra sugars and uh, creamers in them. You really don't want to have those every day. Okay, and then the sixth thing is um, alcohol. You got to eliminate alcohol, especially um, beer, um, from your diet. Now, um, the program that I do, it allows for a glass of wine every now and then, but all the rest of it, you got to cut it out. If you want to see results quick and you want to um, get rid of wasted calories um, that eliminate those six things and you'll be good to go. So I'm not unrealistic and I'm not perfect and I don't expect people to be perfect and you gotta live your life every now and then. Um, but if you wanna see quick uh, weight loss results, reduce those things, that's gonna give you a huge boost in your health and then eliminating them all together will of course get you the best results and you will guaranteed after eliminating um, those things after seven days, your body's gonna feel 150% better. So anyway, that was my um, uh, series on eliminating or stop drinking your empty calories. Those are my, uh, the six top uh, empty calories that I would say you need to eliminate and you will definitely see some uh, quick results. So I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you have anything, any topic that um, I could do some research on for you or that you have questions about, please let me know. Um, I'm here to help and I'm not by far, I don't know everything. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know everything about um, health and fitness, but I've learned a lot in the past eight years, and I'm just here um, sharing that with you guys, hoping that um, maybe it will um, it will empower you to take over your health and um, make good changes. So I hope you guys have a great evening, and I will see y'all tomorrow, part four. Talk to you later. Bye.